the date in the dark. Oh, sorry. Can't see. Am I right? <laughs> Back off! <sighs> Bonsoir tout le monde et bienvenue. Welcome, everyone. For those of you new to Bistro Noir, you are about to embark on a journey of discovery and exploration of the senses. Ah, oh, what is this? Without sight, senses like touch, taste, hearing, and smell all become amplified. No phones, no visual distractions, no judgment, just pure existing in the present moment and the company around you. I promise you, this will be an unforgettable experience. Are you ready? Oui ou non? Um, no. I heard one no. Is there a problem, my friend? Uh, what's the fire safety plan? In case, you know, the uh, fire. <laughs> it was posted in the Lars entrance, but rest assured, lights turn on in such a case. Was there anything else? Okay, let's begin. Here at Bistro Noir, our team consists entirely of visually impaired professionals of the service industry, each with their own unique experience. Please, be kind and patient as a member of our serving staff will escort you to your table by their arm. Table 12, on your far left. Table 1, on your far right. Table 11, on your left. Ah, table two, I'll be serving you. Please, offer me your arm. Parfait. Oh, uh, okay, thank you. Okay, feel at your steps. I know it feels a little daunting at first. Yeah, I'm still adjusting, I think. Watch out for chairs on your right. Shit! Die. I mean, married? Ugh, ouch. Are you okay? Yeah. You got your directions mixed up? Yeah, I'm fine. <clears throat> okay, here we are. Table two. Please. Take a seat, and your surprise dinner partner will join you shortly. Uh, thank you. Hello, let me take you to your table. Well, this should be fun. Or a total disaster. And here we are, table two. Thank you. Hello. Hi. I'm Lisa. Dylan. This is your first time? Yeah. How, how did you peck me that quick? I could hear it in your voice. Yeah. That's quite an ear you got. I had two of them, actually. Oh, nice. <laughs> the same. So, what brings you here tonight? Just felt like something different. Is that the real answer? Nothing gets by you, huh? Nope. I'm just trying to meet new people, uh, and not eat sad ramen at home. Oh, I feel you. I feel like I should tell you this up front. Uh, I'm having a bit of anxiety right now, just being in total darkness. It's new for me. Okay, just take a couple of breaths. You're in good hands tonight. Alright. I'll do it with you. Like 
I said, you're in good hands. But this will be something different, all right? You've been here a few times then? You know that corny cliche, so you come here often? My answer to that would be, uh, yeah. I heard some people use this as a good date experience to break the ice. Is that what brings you here? Oh, you mean like, is this a date? Expecting that. Honestly, I'm not looking for anything specific. I just enjoy meeting people this way. Everyone here is an equal. I feel the most at ease when I'm here. Really? In total darkness? It's part of my usual day to day, actually. Mine is a sightless world. Oh. Yeah. No, I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't it's have. It's okay. You're nervous. It's just part of who I am. I'm also left-handed. You could be bald and right-handed for all I know. Which isn't a bad thing. It's just part of who you are. Besides, in this setting, it's irrelevant. That's the magic of this. Well, you might have to help me navigate through this so I don't spill everything all over us. I'm somewhat of an expert here. But is this you warning me that you're a klutz? No, not really. Just... Out of my element here. Very out of my element. Oh, I hear drinks being served. The wine here is the best. Did you order a glass? I got a six ounce to start. Well, I got a bottle. Did you get rosé by any chance? I did not. Red or white then? Just the house white. Well, you're welcome to have some rosé later. Oh, I might take you up on that. Here we are. A bottle of Cote Rose for Mademoiselle Lisa. And for you, a glass of white. I will be barring now. Mind your movements. within five seconds. Uh-oh. Oops. I'm a lefty, remember? So, on your right. Crap. Did any of it get on you? Don't think so. We're good. Hope oh, you like soggy bread. Ah, oh, shit. I'm sorry. Whatever. I'm still going for it. Hmm. Warm bread. So, what did you order for food? I always get the who knows what it's gonna be surprise me dish. Tell me you got it too. I did. I thought I'd roll the dice. I mean, I'll eat anything, really. Yes, this is exciting. Trust me, everything is good here. Are you an oysters person? Tell me you're an oysters person. Yeah. So good here. All East Coast. I have a pretty hot take that tends to piss off vegetarians and vegans. Uh oh. It's nothing bad. I just never understand why they say they can't eat oysters. I mean, unlike other shellfish, oysters don't have a nervous system, so they're basically the same as a plant. And then I've heard, well, they're part of the animal kingdom, so we can't eat them. But <laughs> they're non sentient beings with no brain and no ability to feel pain. Plus, they filter water, so they're as pure as can be and also so high in protein. Like, why can you murder a salad but not this? Wow, you really did your research. Hell yeah. So, what do you think? Do I have a case? Yeah, I'm not sure I agree with the reasoning, but it's kind of funny how passionate you are on the subject. Of course I am. I'm an Atlantic girl. Ordered myself half a dozen. So, uh, what do you do for work? I'm a pilot. Mostly commercial flights. Really? No. 
I make terrible jokes for a living. I'm confused. Well, not really for a living yet. I do stand up, but voiceover work usually pays the bills. Come see me performing at the Comedy Garage this Saturday at 9. Lisa LaRonde. Oh, I think I've heard of you, actually. Wow. That's so cool. Yeah, I'll definitely check my schedule. Someone sounds busy. What do you do? I'm a graphic designer. Oh, what kind of stuff do you design? A bit of everything. I'm freelance, so whatever the client needs. Such as? My website layouts, logos, posters, banners, social media pages, uh, memes. Uh... Do you enjoy it? Oh yeah, for sure. It comes pretty naturally, and I have a steady stream of work, so no complaints, really. If you did have a complaint, what would it be? Uh, clients that don't respect my time or vision, or find any reason not to pay me. Really? Not to pay you? Oh yeah. Just one time, I did like 12 revisions to this guy's website. He wanted it to look sharp and minimalist and sleek and modern, but he, he kept insisting that I use a serif font like Times New Roman for a classic feel, and I'm like, you can't have both, guy. He yelled at me, fired me, called me a waste of life, and never paid me. Oh, my. What the? Uh, well, to those kinds of clients, I wish many long, embarrassing bouts of uncontrollable hiccups at incredibly inconvenient times. <laughs> Ouch. That's so specific. Oh, it's cruel. I know. But seriously, that sounds difficult. Ah, what can you do? Pass cast in their general direction for life. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. My table manners died with the fall of the Soviet Union. Oh, uh, what? Are you like a diehard sympathizer? <laughs> no, I just got a lot ruder around that time. Totally unrelated circumstances. Okay, here we are. Once more. Mind your hands and movements. We have half a dozen oysters. In the middle is fine, thank you. Escargot à la Parisade. For you, just here on your right. Ah, wonderful, thanks. And for you, Mademoiselle Lisa, the pâté de Provence, just on your left. Oh my god, yum. Bon appétit. If you need anything else, gently tap your fork on the glass and someone will come around. Thank, Thank you. you. I am so ready for these oysters. Want one? Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Did, did you already eat one? Yep. Catch up. Feel around for a shell. Bring it up to your mouth. Tip. Then knock it back. Ah, all right. Here it goes. Mm, that's good. Most people get psyched out by the visual texture, but this is the beauty of sightless eating. It's a more psychologically open way of dining. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really digging it so far. Fun fact. My friend Ross is the Guinness Book of World Records fastest shucker. Wow. Guy shucks. Mmm. You want to have another? I'm good, actually. One and done. Thanks, though. Suit so yourself. <sighs> Ugh, I love oysters. Yeah, I can tell. You can just taste the ocean. Literally. Just so refreshing. And they really put you in a good mood. Aren't they an aphrodisiac? Yeah. Where are you going with this? Nowhere. I mean, not there, but I, I have a few friends that just love oysters, like really love them. And they speak about them with such a stimulated reverence. You know, it's kind of culty, actually. Hey. Well, I mean, what I mean is, okay, I have a theory. If oysters are an aphrodisiac, isn't it possible that people who are really into them are kind of, you know, really into them? Like, uh... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I never thought about that, but that's totally what it is. Uh, I have to make that a bit, with your permission, obviously. Oh, granted. <laughs> You're funny, Dylan. 
And I gotta feel around for my fork here. Touch the screen. Without lifting your finger, move around to find the target within five seconds. I've got it. Improbably. Good job. I'm proud of you. Mmm. Tell me how your first bite is. Okay. Here it goes. Mmm. That's actually so good. I've never had escargot. You know, snails have always freaked me out. I hear their length is half penis. This is really good. Trust me, I've tried everything on the menus, and it's all incredible. Also, I didn't know that about snails. You're welcome. Oh, the music here is great, too. Aren't they wonderful? Huh. Wait, it's a live band? Well, I sure hope they are dead. I mean... Yeah, they play music here often. They're all musicians with a vision impairment. Wow. This place is amazing. Cheers to that. Don't miss this time. Touch the screen. Without lifting your finger, move around to find the target within five seconds. Cheers. That is such good wine. Oops. <laughs> Someone messed up. Does that happen often? Oh yeah. A lot of people act before they think, without the use of all their senses. But frankly, Bistro Noir is a good social experiment, in my opinion. How am I doing? Decent, I'd say. So, do you think billionaires should exist? Yay or nay? Oh, wow. Uh, what a segue. Um... I... Uh, nay. A person only needs so much. Right? So excessive. So I'm assuming you're not a capitalist. Oh, nay, nay, nay. I know I sound like a horse, but nay. <laughs> okay, here's another question. Is this an interview or a date? Both. And neither. We'll see. I feel like I'm on a game show. You are. You're in the hot seat. <laughs> okay, fire away. Spring or fall walk? Spring. Those first warm days are paradise. I'm a fall gal. I kind of hate spring. The snow melts and it becomes Lake City. Allergens everywhere. Ugh. Are you a fan of soup? Honestly, no. I don't really eat it. Or drink it, I guess. You don't drink... <sighs> Sorry. I love soup. In general, and also eating it. Noted. Okay. If you strongly disagree with someone politically or socially, like to a degree where you know their values are just so off base, would you unfriend them on social media? Oh, um, okay. Uh, hmm. Oh yeah. I've done it a few times. I, I know that I'd never be real friends with that person. Interesting. You wouldn't? No, not necessarily. I mean, if they were being creepy and weird, yeah. But I think it's important not to shut out differing opinions and fuel society's ever-growing divide, even though it can be so angering and frustrating. Open debate is key. Plus, we're all flawed and valuable. True. But, you know, my friends list is kind of up to me. Totally. <laughs> I've just always maintained that I'd much prefer to be in a room full of people I don't agree with, rather than a room full of people I do agree with. The former leads to no change in echo chambers, and not giving soup a second chance. You have strong opinions on food. I do. My feed is full of food. That's why they call it a feed. Yeah, I don't think that's it. Do you mind me asking, how accessible do you find it? I mean, it's pretty intuitive for visual impairments. It could always be better, but we can use it just fine. But on that point, I feel like my experience as a blind person has made me highly aware of both judgment coming in and going out. I do sometimes wish humans could just stop judging what they see on the outside. The world would be such a better place. That's beautifully put, Lisa. Alright, last one. If we met out there, in the real world, would you have treated me any differently? Be honest. 
No, no way. You sure? Yeah, why would I? It's just, there's always this layer of crust to breach with people that I wish wasn't there. Even if it's just being overly polite and sensitive, it sometimes makes me feel like a stray dog. People are weird. The worst is when people speak louder to me, as if that's the issue. Do you bring your experience into your comedy routine? I try not to make it my shtick, but it inevitably comes up. Sometimes it's just fun to make people uncomfortable, but that's my prerogative, you know? No, for sure. It's also my prerogative to make dead dad jokes. He's dead, by the way. I'm sorry to hear that. See? Uncomfortable. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a bit of a dick. Humor has definitely always been the outlet of my choice. My dad was a wonderful man. I've taken him here before, actually. Did he enjoy? So much. He was an artist, actually. He designed a few of my tattoos. I know you can't see them here, but I love how he's always with me through them. Like signatures or imprints that keep him alive. Hmm. Here, give me your hand. I'll show you my favorite. Okay, on my wrist. Right there. Touch the screen. Without lifting your finger, move around to find the object. Ooh, cold hands. Okay, uh, right here. Imagine the top-down view of a bee. Wings spread, a friendly but strong. That's how he would always address my birthday cards. Dear honey, and draw the same little doodle every time. Wow. What is it? it it's nothing. Tell me. Nah, it's silly. Come on. You have soft skin? That's a really weird thing to say in this moment. Yeah, it didn't sound right coming out for me either. I'm guessing you came here to the dating crowd? Uh, well... Sorry, I shouldn't pry. No, it's okay. I'm about four months coming off a breakup, and on top of that I got fired from my last contract because my productivity wasn't up to par. And they just generally treated me like shit overall. Yeah, it's been a tough year, to be honest. <sighs> Sorry, I, I don't mean to sound all negative and low. No, no, you're going through a lull. You're entitled to own that. Life is friggin' tough sometimes. Ugh, I could say that again. You know, I just needed a night to escape without it being self-destructive, you know? Well, I'm glad you came out, Dylan. Me too. We should probably dig in now, hey? I know, we barely touched our food. I might order some more oysters. You cool with that? And any potential slurping? It's all you this time. In that case, I might leave it for another time. Let's just dig in. Oh, well, that was quite the dining experience. Definitely. Do I look like how you thought I might? Hmm? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I definitely got quirky love interest from a rom-com vibes. Dyed hair and all. Uh-huh. Natural, frizzy brunette. Sorry to disappoint. Your voice definitely matches you. Thank you. It was so nice meeting you, Lisa. Same to you. I could hear a limp in your step. Are you okay? I low-key think I broke my toe. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope my Uber doesn't take too long. I think I'm gonna go check out the fireworks tonight. Should probably leave pretty soon. Oh yeah, I forgot they were happening tonight. I rarely partake. It's usually just unpleasant loud noises for me, so. Ah, here. I should add you on Facebook or something. Sure. Lisa Laron. Listen, tonight was fun, but I should reiterate that I'm not looking for any. Oh, yeah, that's okay. It was a nice dinner. But also, ouch. Sorry. No. It's all good. It's always interesting getting to know someone else's point of view. Yeah, same. And the food was so good, right? So good. Well, I'm going to go catch these fireworks. You have yourself a great rest of your evening, Lisa. Thanks, Dylan. You too.
And they already started. 